I can pretend to be a little classy. Wednesday morning now and I figured I'll just talk to you real quick while uh, the hair is still looking good <laughs> um, so it's Wednesday morning I got here Monday evening and went to work yesterday it was great it was good to meet everyone in person and get some stuff done too in the process and then I got to meet up with the wonderful Allie Ellie Dell I will insert that footage here in a minute we got to meet up and we went thrifting. We only went to one Goodwill because I worked till five. So there were a few stores that were still open till seven and some that were open till nine. But we decided after that one Goodwill, we're just gonna go have dinner and chat. And yeah, it was lovely. So we went to one Goodwill, we <laughs> we shut the place down. Um, they, <laughs> they basically had to kick us out. They didn't, they were super nice, but we were there until like a quarter after seven. I was surprised nobody came up to us and told us, y'all gotta get out now. So anyway, um, I found a few good pieces. I will probably show them to you later, maybe, or maybe tomorrow morning. Uh, they're in my car still. I did not think it would make sense to bring them up to my hotel room because anything I bring up here, I'll have to take back down. I only got five pieces, but they were good pieces. And it's definitely a little bit more pricey than what I'm used to or what I what I like to pay. But I picked up a few things that I felt like I can't really find as often um, in my area. I found two brands for the first time and I can show them again later. You might see them in the video uh, footage as well. But we went to a Goodwill in this in the area here in New Jersey. I honestly forgot which, which town exactly it is because they're all so close together. They all just like blend into one another. And before you know it, you're in a different town, technically. So anyway, but um, we did that and then we had a lovely dinner at a lovely diner and I have a big old piece of cheesecake in my fridge that I kind of only nibbled on yesterday and I will probably eat for the next two days, but that's just how we like it. Anyway, um, we had a blast. Uh, it's like instant besties, Ellie and I. Uh, we had such a good time and we never met before, but it was so fun and I'm so glad I got to meet her and I'm so glad I get to come back and hang out with her again because I think we're gonna be really good thrifting friends and otherwise, um, we had really good chats. Flashback. Say hi, Ellie. Hi. I have literally no idea if I'm getting you. Hey everyone, this you, is Ellie. I think I see my face. Yay, awesome. I already know it's Lulu. I just I hate looking at leggings so much. Yeah, you can't see anything. Yep, literally what just happened. Remind me of the why? <laughs> why did you just do that? <laughs> you know that Friends episode when Ross wears leather pants? Yes. That's that's them. That's so good. This this is them. That is an old tag. Holy moly! 
Yeah. No sale is ever final. Okay. Well, you're not coming home with us. Sorry. Sandro, Sandro's not good, but Sandro Paris is, right? I was like, Sandro? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what? It's like Etro and Entro. You just found that. Yeah. Well. Why am I looking at leggings? What are we doing? <laughs> Why is there so much Lula rope? What is this? That's actually cute. Marika, gosh darn it. Many hours later. I'm heading back into work today and then I think I'm having a dinner with my colleagues this evening. So I don't think I'll have more time to thrift here in New Jersey unless I go on my way out tomorrow on Thursday after lunch. I'm not sure yet. I might. I'm gonna have to see what's on the way. I do want to stop by just a store, um, a Goodwill or otherwise in Delaware because I didn't hit Delaware um, thrift stores on my way up here. And then depending on what time it is, I might even swing by that Savers that I mentioned earlier in uh, Northern Virginia. We'll see. I don't know yet. I don't know what their hours are. I have to do some research. Um, and I have a feeling once I'm in my car and I'm going back, I just want to get home to my family. But if I don't get stuck in too much traffic in like the Baltimore and the uh, DC area, which I probably will, um, and have some energy left, I might, I might go there. But I'll definitely check in with y'all again. So yeah, I'm gonna go and finish getting myself ready, grab some breakfast probably on my way out to work and yeah have hopefully have a good productive work day and then have a good dinner after all i've been doing is eat work sleep and thrift i haven't listed anything i meant to do some drafts but that has not happened i might tonight because it's wednesday and my friend Kay, passports and pizza pies is having her listing live at 10 pm if i can stay awake i might join them and just get some listing and some chatting done who knows maybe i'll even pop on the video we'll see we'll see where the day takes us but anyway I, I will talk to you again in a little bit the next day okay friends checking in hold on let me let me turn this air down a little bit so y'all can actually hear me veronica checking in from the road again and oh my god i'm several kinds of done and so we'll, we're gonna be wrapping things up here <laughs> really quickly i'm on my way back driving from New Jersey to Virginia and my phone decided to be the jackass today. So that's that's what's happening. My phone decided to all of a sudden crap out on me and not give me directions anymore. So I ultimately ended up pulling over at a rest stop and like troubleshooting the crap out of it after, you know, turning it off and turning it on didn't work. And so I was just all kinds of done already. And then I, I got there to the rest stop and I finally figured it out. So I went inside, just used the bathroom. I come back outside, I don't see my car. I'm freaking out. Realized the dang rest stop has two exits. <laughs> so there's been all of that. And it's just, it's been a day already and I'm very much done and I just want to be home right now. So I still have about four and a half, four hours, four hours to go. So that's quite a bit and I'm I think I'm in Delaware right now still I also like paid like three tolls back to back and I'm like what the hell is wrong with these states I just I don't understand I I do not understand anyway so all this to say that I'm at a point where I just want to get my ass sorry my butt home safely and see my family and there is a traffic jam oh that's lovely and now I'm about to sit in traffic as I was saying, I just want to get home. <laughs> so I will not be stopping anywhere to thrift. I The only stops I'll make is to refill, refuel myself. My car is, is my rental car is all good, but I might need more. Go through. I have like one more 
little Starbucks drink over here, but your girl might need some cold brew to just survive today. So yeah, it's lovely. It's so lovely. And I'm totally gonna hit like rush hour traffic because I didn't leave until 1 p.m. So <laughs> oh, this is just gonna be fun. Anyway, I'm gonna be stress eating and you don't have to see that. Aside from my little applesauce thing. These are genius for car rides, by the way. Not just for kids. For, for adults, too. But anyway, I need to focus on this freaking traffic. So I will not die. And I will show you guys, most likely, a haul. I'll, I'll squeeze it in somehow. I only have five items. It's quick. I hope to do more of these in the future. And then be a little more organized. Or just plan ahead better. Or I don't know. Be, just be able to do more thrifting. It was a work trip, after all. And I will say, every evening... I was pretty much beat and tired and done and I didn't feel like once I was at my hotel I didn't feel like leaving again and I'm also realizing that it is harder to fit thrifting into your nine-to-five work schedule so going forward I think it's mostly going to be thrifting on the weekends and right now that means still in my area but then once we move I'm excited to explore new places new stores new states and there'll be a lot more of that. Uh, this was just like a little bit of a taste of thrifting in Maryland, which we struck out at that one store, but that's fine. And then thrifting in New Jersey with Miss Ellie, which was the highlight of my trip, really, meeting up with her. And so at least, at least there's that. I'm heading into this massive traffic, so I'm going to sign off here. I, Patrick, if you're watching, I don't know what the jackass count is, but it's like through the roof. It's through the roof for sure, including my phone. So... So we're back here. I've arrived at home safely. I, I weathered the storms quite literally and I got back uh, really late that uh, day when I drove back from um, New Jersey and it's a few days later now and I just want to quickly film this haul portion. I just want to show you what I found when I went thrifting with my friend Ellie. Excuse the hair. Ellie, you in particular, excuse the hair because she's a hairdresser and she's probably like, what the hell are you doing, Veronica? Anyway. So the pieces I picked up at the New Jersey Goodwill, I forgot which one it is, maple something, doesn't matter. Uh, a Goodwill in New Jersey, <laughs> it doesn't say on the thing here. Um, so this item, the first item that I picked up or one of the items that I picked up is an Athleta workout tank top. It's gray, it looks tiny, but it's actually a size large, which I feel like is very bizarre, but it does stretch quite a bit. Athleta, you probably know the label back here. Uh, I spent $35 at the Swift store and I picked up five items. So that's definitely a much higher average cost of goods than what I usually pay, about seven bucks per item. Uh, this one was only four. I say only, it's actually kind of pricey for a tank top. But I have good luck with Athleta and I can probably sell this in the $20 range. So I'm happy with that. Again, my average cost of goods was seven, but when in New Jersey, right? I can definitely see why Ellie uh, goes to the thrift store on dollar days. This one was $5.40, but again, average cost of goods was seven. It's probably new without tax because it still has a little bit of a tag in here. Anyway, I need to hurry this up because both my battery and my SD card are in the yellow, which means one's getting full and the other one's getting low. Uh, this is Wild Fox, which I don't ever find. 
and it's a pineapple sweatshirt. Are you kidding me? I could not leave this behind. Uh, it's a size small, but it's definitely oversized. It would be way too small for me because I'm like a large to extra large, but so stinking cute. Um, I have not looked up comps for any of this, <laughs> to be honest. I'm a horrible reseller. Pretty sure there's lots of these listed, but hey, we'll see. Um, this one Ellie gave to me because, oh, I didn't even know it was a collab. Damn it, Ellie, look at you. It's a mod cloth collab and it says extra large slash 16. This was marked at $9. It's mod cloth and collective. And it says Isabella rock check dress, multicolored because it's new with tags. Look at this. Ellie gave this to me and I was like, oh girl, you're spoiling me. It's a full length maxi checkered tartan plaid, whatever dress. So stinking gorgeous. It is in my size, but I like, where would I wear this, right? Also, it's new with tax, so <laughs> that's an, a no brainer that's gonna get sold. It doesn't have a price on here, but I'm sure that'll do well. Again, I haven't looked up any comps because I suck at reselling apparently, but Ellie gave this to me. Thank you so much, friend. Um, she gave me a whole bunch of items that I actually ended up putting back. A lot of Torrid that it was just priced too high for resale, you know, but cute stuff. I would definitely go shopping for myself in that area. And this might end up being mine. We'll see. Uh, it's a pajama and it's both pieces, which is nice. This was the most expensive one, actually. This was 10 bucks, but I figured I'm going to pick it up. And if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it. Uh, it's Kate Spade, New York, extra large pajamas with blue skies, clouds, and a sun, or well, multiple suns. But this is so stinking cute. I mean, come on. It's a short sleeve button down shirt, pajama top, and then the shorts. And I'm pretty sure this is clean. I, I did check the crotch area. Okay, it does have a light spot down here at the hem, but I can wash that or stain treat it. Again, if this doesn't sell, I'll totally wear this. Super soft, super cute. I'm not really one to sleep in like actual pajamas with, you know, the whole button down situation, but I mean, why not? I can pretend to be a little classy. Why not? Okay, this last item, and then we're already done, is a brand that I only know because my friend Ellie, not the Ellie that I met up with, but Ellie from Posh Athletica. I will put her information down here and link her channel below. Uh, she talks about this brand, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I saw this and I was like, ooh, okay. And Ellie was like, other Ellie, New Jersey Ellie, <laughs> was like, I don't know this brand. So we both learned something. It's PE Nation. Excited for this. These are tiny. I didn't realize how tiny these were. Look at this. I like the width of my face. They also have hair all over. They smell perfumey, but I think they're in good shape. I looked them over. Yeah, they are an extra small. So here is this tag, if you ever see it, PE Nation. And they have the stripe band up here, and then they have this accent down here. Hoping to get between 30 and 40 bucks for these. Um, they were marked at $5.99. So again, average cost of gets a seven for all these items, but hey, why not? And that's it. That's all I got. That's all I brought back from this thrift trip. As you saw, the Salvation Army I went to, nah. And then on my way back, I just ended up not going to any thrift store. I had high hopes to hit at least three, four thrift stores on this trip. But truth be told, I was really tired a lot of the time. Um, and mostly also while I was there, I was there for work. So yeah, and at the same time, I also really enjoyed just crashing at the end of the day and curling up in a nice hotel bed and just watching a show and falling asleep without my child needing anything from me, or crawling into my bed in the middle of the night or waking me up at five in the morning. I had a really good time on this trip. I'm really excited I got to meet Ellie and yeah, I also had a good time with my colleagues and getting to know them and uh, I'm excited for the job still. I'm not excited for New Jersey rent prices. <laughs> That's gonna be a whole different adventure. Maybe I'll vlog uh, looking for an apartment up there because that's gonna be very sobering and very depressing. But that's gonna be a story for another day. 
for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching this vlog or these two vlogs if I decided to put it into two parts. Thank you for hanging out with me and coming along on this little trip with me. I hope to be able to film more kind of road trip type videos in the future even if I'm traveling for work. If there's any way I can bring reselling or thrifting into the mix I would love to film that and just show you that kind of content because it's different from what I usually get to do. So really excited for those opportunities coming up and yeah thank you so much for hanging out and watching and have a wonderful day. Cheers! license plates that say IDC bro like I don't care bro count twice with the jackass count I'm just gonna say it also especially if they cut you off or drive like they have no regard for anyone else's life yeah at least twice the jackass count for those it had to be said <laughs>